we are going to see about the triggers. So then we are left with a few more cursors. So I will explain at the end of the session. Okay. So why will Oracle? So why has the trigger has been introduced? So what type of triggers we have? Okay. What are the main advantages of the triggers? We will uh, see about the triggers. Okay. So what is trigger? So what are the types of triggers we have? What is the purpose of the trigger in the database? So we are going to cover these all the things. Okay. So triggers are named PLSQL block, which are stored in the database. How the normal uh, uh, programs we can able to store. Okay. So triggers are named PLSQL blocks, which are stored in the database. Okay. How the PLSQL blocks will get stored in the same way with the, these objects will be stored in the database. Okay, so. Okay, triggers are specialized stored programs which are automatically executed or fired when some event occurs. Okay, so say so triggers are specialized stored sub programs. Okay, so procedure and the function is the sub programs, correct? So these are the specialized sub programs. So meaning. So you, the procedures we need to execute manually. Okay, the triggers, whereas in the triggers, triggers will automatically execute the trigger itself. When event occurs, so here event meaning it may be a so while performing any BML operation. Okay, so if you want to track like who are inserting the data into my table, who are updating that. So I need to capture who is updating that information and which time he is updating. So if you want to see that information. OK, so if the banker side will do some order information like in this way, like audit. So audit meaning so those people are doing any manipulations without uh, uh, like unofficial. So those people are doing any unofficial things if, to find out that we will use the auditing. Uh, uh, so the bankers will uh, do the auditings. Although the banker law auditing in the chess are either fraudulent uh, uh, transactions same on a perform chess are. Okay, so we learned about the green gemono. Triggers and it will use. Okay, so. Triggers we have these variety of triggers we have. Okay, so mainly we will uh, work with the only DML triggers. Okay, so DML triggers. Okay, so DML triggers meaning so while performing any DML operation on the table, this uh, DML triggers will uh, fire and uh, capture that information. So for audit log purpose, we'll uh, capture like who is inserting the data, who is updating the data. So what is the like? Uh, Previous updated. So if you, do, you open the account like uh, from Mr. Nagar, now you switch that account from one place to another place. Now you need to track that information. You need to track that information. So we cannot able to insert that information for each and every day manually to some other table. Okay, the auditing need to be tracked by the system. Okay, so like that, so we will maintain that. DML triggers for to track that. So who are updating uh, these are all we'll capture here. So if you want to track the table alterations, so DDL operations. So we'll use the DDL triggers. So DDL operations, it may be while dropping the table or while creating the table. Okay, while creating the table or while uh, truncating that, while renaming it. Okay, so we'll use the DDL triggers for that. Okay. System event triggers, system triggers are system event triggers. Okay, this will help you to. So, if someone is trying to in uh, like log in like uh, prior to the so the bank will start with the 9 30 a.m. Okay, if someone is trying to log into the system like uh, prior to the 9 30, so it need to be restrict that. Okay, you need to get some pop up. So, you are working on non business hours. So if some organizations we have still, so you need to be work with the business hours nine to six. Okay, you cannot able to work other than the business hours. 
in the same way if you want to do those type of things you will use the you will use the system event triggers for that so if you are trying to log out the session like before the business hours it won't allow to log off okay so start up start down so when you are starting the database when uh, you are so we can able to restart the database okay if you set down the database if you set down your server the oracle will go and down so if you want to on that database back we need to use the startup option if you want to stop the database we'll use the shutdown option okay while doing these operations if you want to track that we'll use the system event triggers okay instead of you trigger so instead of you trigger so you while working with the complex views okay while working with the views in simple view we can able to perform the dml operations okay in complex view we cannot able to perform the dmls correct so if you want to do like forcefully dmls on a complex view okay the client may ask us sometimes is there any way to perform the dmls on complex view yes we have the way if you maintain that uh, insertion submission uh, logics in the trigger so as i said some example like if you have like uh, parents having the two chains okay so the parents are earning the money so these two guys are the uh, does not have any uh, earning capacity so uh, as of now okay in that case those people will uh, look for like uh, so my parents like uh, if you have like 100 rupees okay so the, the parents get confused to whom i need to on which percentage i need to give these persons so in that case in that case we can provide some uh, logic for that so if you are uh, getting like a uh, 100 rupees so the parents will know like uh, so 60 rupees for this person or 40 rupees for this and 50 50 so like uh, we can put some rules for that as an uh, legal notice or something like wheel uh, nama so manama wheel nama and so uh, we can uh, write the information inside the trigger okay so if you want to allow the dmls on complex views will maintain the instead of few triggers so this trigger will work for the views so except all the triggers is work for uh, the ddl and dml work for the table so this will work for the system event triggers will work for the database level okay compound trigger so compound trigger we can put all the triggers so usually if you want to maintain like one trigger okay so for every trigger we can maintain like a different types of triggers so in the dml we have insert update delete to track the insertions we'll create some dml insert trigger to track the delete will create separate dml delete trigger dml update trigger so we'll create like a three different types of uh, three different types of triggers so if you want to so if you want to create all the triggers together we'll use the compound triggers so if you want to track one by one we will create each and every trigger is a separate but if you want to put like all the triggers together we'll use the compound trigger okay so this is the types of triggers we have so triggers will help you to triggers will help you to capture the dml information who are performing that for audit log purpose no it's not track any uh, errors so dml triggers will help you to track the dmls who are performing so who is updating the data who is inserting the data so what is the previous information what is the current information we have so if you want to track the dml operations okay we'll go with the dml tracks so dml triggers so if you want to track the ddl operations we'll go with the ddl triggers so while performing the dmls on the complex view so if you want to track if you want to allow the dmls we'll use the instead of view trigger 
Okay, compound trigger is the mixed case of all the triggers together. Okay, so then see here. So the user is uh, uh, put some mission uh, like ATM or debit card uh, uh, put it into the uh, withdrawal mission or a CDM mission. Okay, so now you are performing some transaction in this place. Okay, see the transaction will go to which. Okay, if you put the mission like a, a card in your uh, ATM machine, so the transaction will uh, uh, it send some alert to the bank. Okay, it check your bank account is having how much balance. Okay, so it automatically sending some alert to the bank side. ATM to your account, uh, it, it it hit to the some procedure and capture your account balance. Okay, so and you are uh, you are entering some amount. Okay, the amount is uh, greater than or equal to this or not. It it will verify some conditions. Okay, if it is greater than that, then it allow the transaction. Else, it will uh, cancel the transaction. Okay, so after performing the transaction, you are getting some uh, SMSs or emails. This will uh, trigger automatically. So you can able to send the alerts using Oracle. So we have like a options to send the emails to the users. You can able to see here the PLS school block trigger send email SMS to account holders. OK, we have the option to perform that as well. OK, so while performing the uh, transaction in the ATM machine, it's sending some alert to the your, uh, bank. Okay, if you are inner bank or outer bank, so you people are using like all the banks ATMs. Okay, so now if you are, it, it will send the alert to the bank, and those people will verify your balance. And if it is like a withdrawing balance or that account current balance will like greater than or equal to, then it allows the transaction. Okay, so if it is less than that, you can cancel the transaction. So after performing this trigger, uh, transaction, then you automatically get some alerts, SMS alerts and uh, mail alerts. This will uh, trigger automatically. So you are not doing any task. So while performing the task, uh, withdrawal, it automatically getting alerts from a machine. Okay. Then see here. So after performing that uh, transaction, So after performing the transaction, you are getting the SMS. This will are done by the triggers. See amount of date, so 100 rupees detected. OK, so the event can be DML or DDL or system events. So we are we already discuss about this. So a trigger code is automatically when associated event happens in the database. OK, so the event can be DML or DDL. Okay. So advantage of the advantage of the triggers auditing. Okay. So who like uh, is there any like those? Uh, as I said, like uh, the banker auditors is the best example for these triggers. So ever uh, MM transactions is similar. So if anyone did any manipulation from the back end, so we can able to find out that by using the audit logs. To maintain for each and every information in the log. So we'll see that who are performing what type of actions. OK, so enforcing complex referential integrity. OK, so enforcing complex and we are hiding some complexity of logics, putting that into back set, back end. So and you me track channel and the information. So DML operations may perform just enough. Bankers are doing the transactions. So without knowing those people, we are capturing that information and storing into some place. So we are hiding that object. Either logic on the logic me. So audit 
enforcing complex in referential integrity. So uh, integrity and the you know, to track that we are putting some uh, backup tables to push the data from this table to the uh, another table. Okay, those type of things we are hiding that. Okay. So logging information. Logging information also we can able to track that. Logging and day. Ever in chest and our tells code and manam logging and them. Okay. So ever in and like ever timing capture chain and person logging. And we will maintain some comments for that. So why did the, this transaction? We'll maintain some log information. Okay. So data replicating to multiple tables. Okay. Now we are inserting the employee information. So we get some raw data from the client. Okay. The client is sending some file, only one file that, that having the account information, that having the transaction information, okay, customer information or product information. So as of now, we have like a four different types of information on the same file. Okay, we loaded that into our landing table. So we just push the data from file to the tables. Then we need to separate the data into the multiple tables because so you cannot able to if you are performing like a thousands of transactions. I no need to maintain your account information thousand times. Okay, so I can maintain that as an uh, account master table separately. I will maintain your information only one time, in a queue time. Okay, and I can build the relation for these two tables. Okay, so instead of maintaining the data into one table, we'll maintain that into, we'll split into multiple tables, build the relation for the two tables. So usually this is called we, as a normalization. So we have the normalization concept will help you to, to avoid the duplicate redundancy of the data. Client Nichi, Manapochina data, we need to analyze the data and build the separate the data into multiple tables to maintain as any queue data. Okay, if you are maintaining any duplicate information in your table, so it unnecessarily wasting the memory in your mission. Okay, so for that, we'll separate that into multiple parts and build the linkage between these tables. So a linkage is conducted up to, we'll put some procedures and push the data. Okay, so if you want to do this from back end without knowing us, so if you want no need to put like simply put the triggers. Okay, so up to first column to 10th column, push that into first table. Okay, so 10th column to another like five, five columns, push it into second table. So if you want to put that, push the data from one place to, so while inserting the data, you will insert all the records for the 30th, uh, if you treat like I say, we have 30th, uh, uh, 30 columns. In that first to five column information need to be stored into some table. Okay, another 10, uh, 10 columns will capture into stored into some table. So we'll maintain that logics in our trigger code. So trigger local, we can put some uh, multiple table information up to this column. So while getting the data, so no, you are doing normal transaction only. So if I get the first to five column information, I will capture and uh, push that into table one. So remaining like a 10, uh, finding a 16 inch, 10 columns, this kundam. If I get that information by entering you, I can capture and store that into some other table. So this is, so data replicating into multiple tables. And a worker table in chi, multiple table ki data ni push shared any person koda use. We are not doing normalization is the separate concept. We will do manually. So it is working like as a normalization. So if you maintain the duplicates also, I don't bother about here. So now employee information we have. Now I need to generate like employee, employee name in separate table. Okay. And remaining columns in the separate table. If it is the duplicate or non-duplicate, I won't bother about that. So if you are performing like 100 transactions, I'm maintaining the employee information 100 times. 
I'm not removing any duplicates here. You can do duplication in chair, just to date and push system. First to five columns, you can tell Lali and remaining uh, 10 columns, it will kill Lali and maintain just an anti. So, you can do the normalization in the chip and anti. So, normalization launch in the work of the normalization copy. So, in normalization, you will do uh, delete the data, duplicate data. You can manage delete chair, just a splitting into multiple tables. Okay, so prevent invalid data or transaction. Okay, so you are withdrawing the money. So you are withdrawing the money from ATM. Okay, so you have like a thousand rupees balance in your account. You are trying to withdraw more than the thousand rupees. Okay, so you need to restrict the transaction because it's an invalid transaction. You don't have sufficient balance to withdraw. But you are trying to perform the transaction. This is the invalid transaction that need to be. Restrict prevent invalid transaction restrict that invalid transaction. OK, the HSRE. So while performing that insertion, so your mission, you put the debit card in the ATM mission. It will go for the uh, bank. So the bank will return some logic. So if you are trying to do some withdrawal transaction, withdrawal transaction meaning you are updating something into your account balance. So account you set up in HS and I will check that account balance minus withdrawal balance. If it is greater than or equal to zero, then allow. Else I can put some user defined exceptions, rise exception. Some of the insufficient pandan JP man of exception rise is some of the that code will maintain into the trigger. So that whatever the code we written in the procedure that I can push that into. Trigger. Then the trigger automatically fire while you are trying to update the balance in your account master. It automatically fires. OK, if the transaction gets success. OK, then the transaction get allowed else it will go for the rollback and uh, it will go for the exception. Then we can use the rollback and cancel the transaction. So we'll use this in, in these situations, the uh, triggers. So to maintain the audit logs. So if you want to track the DMLs who are performing. Or if you want to maintain the history of the table. History of the table. History of the table and other meaning of the audit logs and other meaning of the. In the history maintain just some to see the. So DML uh, uh, track. It may be a DML track or DDL track. Majorly will work for the DML triggers. Okay, so enforcing complex in uh, referential integrity. And a linkage area on the main table, you backup table, you know, history table, you know, audit log table, you know, you know, you know, linkage area on the Dani. We are hiding that logic. Linkage, we are hiding that. Logging. We'll maintain some logging information. So data replicating into multiple tables. Okay. So invalid data ni restricted on those or transaction. Okay. DDL triggers for auditing or logging the DDL statements. So we have more. DML side, the DML ni track chest side, DDL ni track chest side. Okay, so DDL triggers to block unwanted DDL statements. So, ever in a nickelly gonna table ni drop chest and kill them. So, if you want to restrict that, we can restrict that DDL operations. Ever in a drop an option each is not it automatically fires that. It will put some rise application error to start. Uh, it won't execute that. It stop the program from there itself. At the moment, system triggers manually, mainly, sorry, mainly for auditing and logging. Okay, system ever log in nine hour, ever any hours work chase hour, Elan information capture chase store chase for done person, system triggers me, you chase some. Okay, system triggers do some initial cleanup activity to 
to initiate the job based on logon or log of or start up or down okay so meeru system uh, start chesa so while working with your system so it remove the temporary files it remove the recent files so if you are in the bigger bigger organizations okay so if you are in like a, a live applications meer live applications lo edanna work chese tappudu trading applications ilante work chese tappudu your system need to be very fast okay your system need to be restarted for every day okay every day restart avvali what are the recent activities you perform like till now that need to be clean up recent files ni remove cheyali temporary files ni remove cheyali so if you have a performance issue in your system you will go with the so run and use the temp you will get this file you will remove this files okay so you you may get some bit better improvement compared to normal okay so these type of activities need to be performed automatically because these are the system events so these type of activities will happen with the system triggers so the system triggers will taken care by the dba people okay not like our job actually so but you need to know so do what are the types of triggers we have okay so automatic trigger of other events like a sending a email upon data data charges sorry data changes or job complication status okay these are all things well uh, taken care by the dba people okay now dml triggers okay any dml statement like a uh, insert update and delete on executing of any database tables so we'll use the to track this dml operations okay so types of uh, triggers in the dml we have two types of triggers row level trigger and statement level trigger so a row trigger is fired each time the table is affected by the triggering statement okay so triggering statement for example if an update statement updates on multiple rows of a table okay a row trigger is fired once for each row affected by the update statement so meaning so you are inserting or you are updating some table update the table uh, update emp set salary equal to 500 or 1000 rupees you are updating some information so if the table is having like 15 records or 14 records that row level trigger will fire 14 times the update will perform row by row because oracle will implicitly call the trigger okay i am going to explain that implicit cursor okay so in the update and the row by row operation chedu ee row by row operation jariginappudu niku trigger and the row level trigger and for every row it need to be tracked so track cheyali ante compulsory trigger fire of that fire aithane i can capture that information and store that into some place tamakna so row level trigger for every row it will fire one time okay so if your trigger statement affects no rows a trigger is not executed at all mer update chestaru where sorry update emp set shall equal to 500 where uh, one equal to two and one ko emu da deche false condition false condition ichina pudu it won't update anything so if it is not updating anything the trigger won't fire artamanna if you are updating at least one row then only that trigger will fire okay so row triggers are uh, useful if the code in the trigger action depends on the data okay so a row triggers are useful if the code in the trigger action depends on the data provided by the triggering statement or rows that are affected so if trigger anedi nu update chese information paina depend ayi untadi okay so andulo icche action insert update or delete 
మీరు ఇచ్చే యాక్షన్ ఆ డేటాలో ఎన్ని రోజు ఎఫెక్ట్ అవుతున్నాయో ఆ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ బేస్ చేసుకొని ఈ ట్రిగ్గర్ అనేది మీకు యూజ్ఫుల్ అవుతుంది యూజ్ అవుతుంది ఓకే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఓకే సో ఈ రో ట్రిగ్గర్ దట్ యూజెస్ లైక్ అ వాల్యూస్ ఆఫ్ ఈచ్ రో ఎఫెక్టెడ్ బై ద ట్రిగ్గరింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఓకే సో ఐ గట్ టు మెన్షన్ ది so row level trigger will fire if you are updating like 10 rows or 15 rows n number of records row level trigger will fire n number of times okay so then syntax for that okay so syntax how we are creating the normal procedure in the same way we are going to create here create or replace procedure procedure name here create or replace trigger trigger name okay so now we get some additional things here before after instead of we have dml triggers to track the dmls on the views we'll use the instead of వ్యూస్ పైన డిఎంఎల్ చేయడానికి కోసం మనం విల్ యూజ్ ది ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ యూ ట్రిగర్ ఇవి బిఫోర్ ఆఫ్టర్ టు ట్రాక్ ది డిఎంఎల్స్ ఆన్ టేబుల్ విల్ యూజ్ ది బిఫోర్ ట్రిగర్ ఆర్ ఆఫ్టర్ ట్రిగర్ ఓకే సో బిఫోర్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ సో యాజ్ ఆఫ్ నౌ విల్ స్ట్రిక్ ఫర్ ఓన్లీ బిఫోర్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ సో ఇగ్నోర్ ది ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ ఓకే సో బిఫోర్ ఇన్సర్ట్ ఆర్ update or delete so you can able to either of this or you can put all the triggers also insert to update delete three kuda meeru okate use chesukochu okay so before insert before delete before update ante before action ki three triggers vestunnai after action ki after insert after update after delete we have totally six triggers అర్థమవుతుందా సో యాక్షన్ ని పర్ఫామ్ చేసే ముందే ట్రాక్ చేయాలి రో లెవెల్ ట్రిగర్ అనుకో సో వీ హావ్ లైక్ యాజ్ ఆఫ్ నౌ వీ హావ్ రో లెవెల్ ట్రిగర్ రో లెవెల్ ట్రిగర్ లో నువ్వు టేబుల్ లో ఇన్సర్ట్ చేసే ముందే నేను ఆ ఇన్సర్షన్ ని బ్యాకప్ టేబుల్ లో కానీ ఆడిట్ లాక్ టేబుల్ లో కానీ మూవ్ చేయాలి దెన్ ఐ విల్ గో విత్ బిఫోర్ ఇన్సర్ట్ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు ట్రాక్ లైక్ అప్డేటింగ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ వైల్ అప్డేటింగ్ ఇన్ దై మెయిన్ టేబుల్ that uh, update information need to be capture and store into the history table i will use the before update delete ne alane before action tisukoni in store cheskovali anukunnappudu before delete <coughs> after the action cheyali annappudu i will go with after ikkada manna so every event will be same insert update delete three events we have in the dml ఓకే సో త్రీ ఈవెంట్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఈ త్రీ ఈవెంట్స్ లో నుంచి బిఫోర్ ఆఫ్టర్ సో బిఫోర్ యాక్షన్ అన్నప్పుడు బిఫోర్ వెళ్తారు ఆఫ్టర్ యాక్షన్ అన్నప్పుడు ఆఫ్టర్ ఓకే సో సీయర్ సో ట్రిగ్గర్ అనేది స్పెషల్ గా హోల్ టేబుల్ ని క్యాప్చర్ చేయాలన్న సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు ట్రాక్ ఓన్లీ రిక్వైర్డ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ సో ట్రిగ్గర్ మీరు అకౌంట్ బ్యాలెన్స్ ని అప్డేట్ చేస్తారు అకౌంట్ బ్యాలెన్స్ అప్డేట్ చేసినప్పుడు ఐ నో నీ టు ట్రాక్ దట్ డిఎంఎల్స్ బట్ ఐ నీ టు రిస్ట్రిక్ దట్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ సో అప్పుడు నేనేం చేస్తాను కరెంట్ బ్యాలెన్స్ ఒక కాలం పైన నేను ట్రిగరింగ్ అనేది రాస్తాను ఆఫ్ కరెంట్ బ్యాలెన్స్ ఆర్ అకౌంట్ బ్యాలెన్స్ ఆన్ అకౌంట్ మాస్టర్ అర్థమవుతుందా సో ఆఫ్ కాలం ఏ కాలం కోసం ఆ ట్రిగరింగ్ చేయాలి ఇట్స్ ఆప్షనల్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ అండ్ మెన్షన్ దాట్ ఇట్ విల్ వర్క్ ఫర్ హోల్ టేబుల్ ఇఫ్ యూ మెన్షన్ లే కాలం నేమ్ ఆఫ్ కాలం నేమ్ ఆన్ విచ్ టేబుల్ దట్ యూ నీడ్ టు మెన్షన్ okay so this is optional off color if you haven't mentioned this also no bother about that so on table name a trigger before action gaane after action gaane a table pane cheyali that you need to mention in this okay so then referencing old as old or new okay so referencing old as o new as n okay so ee reference anedi enduku upayogapadutundi ne trigger fire ayinappudu 
ఓకే బిఫోర్ యాక్షన్ చేస్తున్నారు ఆఫ్టర్ యాక్షన్ చేస్తున్నారు ఓకే బిఫోర్ యాక్షన్ చేసేటప్పుడు టేబుల్లో ఆల్రెడీ సమ్ ఇన్సర్ట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఉంటుంది టేబుల్లో సమ్ డేటా ఉంది ఓకే సో బిఫోర్ ఇన్సర్ట్ అన్నప్పుడు మీరు ఏంటి న్యూ డేటా క్యాప్చర్ అవుతూ ఉంటుంది యు ఆర్ ఇన్సర్టింగ్ ద డేటా ఇన్ టు ది టేబుల్ ఇట్స్ ఎ న్యూ డేటా ఐ నీడ్ టు క్యాప్చర్ దట్ న్యూ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇన్ టు మై టేబుల్ కమా సో నువ్వు ఇన్సర్ట్ చేసే ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ న్యూ అనే టేబుల్లోకి స్టోర్ అవుతుంది ఫస్ట్ ఇట్ క్రియేట్స్ టూ వర్చువల్ టేబుల్స్ ట్రిగర్ వైల్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ ట్రిగర్స్ ఇట్ క్రియేట్ టూ వర్చువల్ టేబుల్స్ న్యూ అండ్ ఓల్డ్ ఓకే సో న్యూ టేబుల్ ఏం క్యాప్చర్ చేస్తుంది అంటే నువ్వు ఇన్సర్ట్ చేసే ప్రతిది న్యూగా ఇన్సర్ట్ చేసే ప్రతిది క్యాప్చర్ అండ్ స్టోర్ ఇంటూ దట్ ఓకే సో యూ వోంట్ సీ వైల్ ఇన్సర్టింగ్ ద డేటా యూ వోంట్ సీ ఎనీ ఓల్డ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ సో ఇన్సర్ట్ ట్రిగర్ ఫైర్ అయ్యేటప్పుడు ఇట్ క్యాప్చర్ ది న్యూ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇన్ టు ది న్యూ టేబుల్ యు ఆర్ అప్డేటింగ్ ద డేటా నో సో యు ఆర్ మెన్షనింగ్ లైక్ అప్డేట్ ట్రిగర్ అప్డేట్ ట్రిగర్ చేసినప్పుడు వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఒరిజినల్ డేటా వీ హ్యావ్ దట్ ఈస్ యువర్ ఓల్డ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఓకే వాట్ ఆర్ ద న్యూ యు ఆర్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ దట్ దట్ ఈస్ యువర్ న్యూ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ నీ టు బి ట్రాక్ టు సో ఏం చేయాలి ఓల్డ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ తీసుకొని ఓల్డ్ టేబుల్లోకి మూవ్ చేసుకొని ఓల్డ్ టేబుల్ నుంచి హిస్టరీ టేబుల్లోకి డేటాను పుష్ చేసుకోవాలి దెన్ న్యూ టేబుల్లో నేను పుష్ చేసిన తర్వాత న్యూ టేబుల్లో ఏదైతే కంటెంట్ ఉందో ఆ కంటెంట్ ఐ నీ టు అప్డేట్ ఇన్ యువర్ మెయిన్ టేబుల్ అర్థమవుతుందా సో అప్డేట్ జరిగేటప్పుడు ఓల్డ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఉంటుంది న్యూ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఉంటుంది సో ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ అకౌంట్ యూ కెనాట్ ఏబుల్ టు పర్ఫార్మ్ ది అప్డేట్ ఆర్ విత్డ్రాలింగ్ ఎనీథింగ్ సో బికాస్ యూ నీడ్ టు ఇన్సర్ట్ దట్ డేటా ఇన్ టు ద టేబుల్స్ అర్థమవుతుందా సో అప్డేట్ ఏమో మీకు బోత్ ఇన్స్ ఓల్డ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ క్యాప్చర్ చేయాలి న్యూ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ క్యాప్చర్ చేయాలి అంటే అప్పుడు టూ ట్రిగర్స్ని టూ వర్చువల్ టేబుల్స్ని క్రియేట్ చేస్తారు డిలీట్ ఆపరేషన్ చేస్తారు డిలీట్ ఆపరేషన్ చేసేటప్పుడు కూడా మీ దగ్గర ఓల్డ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషనే ఉంటుంది న్యూ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అంటే ఏముంది మీరు యు ఆర్ డిలీటింగ్ ది ఓల్డ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ సో అక్కడ మీకు ఓల్డ్ అనే ట్రిగర్ ఓల్డ్ అనే క్వాలిఫైర్ సో ట్రిగ్గర్ క్వాలిఫైర్స్ అంటారు ఓల్డ్ న్యూ సో వాటిని టూ వర్చువల్ టేబుల్స్ అని కూడా కాల్ చేస్తాం ట్రిగ్గర్ క్వాలిఫైర్స్ ఓల్డ్ అండ్ న్యూ టు క్యాప్చర్ ది ఓల్డ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ది బేస్ టేబుల్ విల్ యూజ్ ది ఓల్డ్ we want to see the new information we'll use the new keyword okay so for each row for each row so it is optional if you mean you haven't mentioned this it treat like as a statement level trigger i said like we have two types of triggers row level and statement level okay if you mention like for each row the system can understand this is the row level trigger if you haven't mentioned this it treat like as a no statement level trigger artham varna it act like as a statement level okay then i can put some conditions when condition okay so when enti i will take some condition value in any i can put some like value equal to this then fire the trigger artham varna when so column me value account balance equal to 0 or less than 0 fire this trigger అర్థం అవుతుందా సో వెన్ కండిషన్ వెయిల్ కోర్ట్ దాట్ ఫర్ ది టు చెక్ ది కండిషన్ సో యాజ్ ఈజ్ లైక్ అ డిక్లేర్ డిక్లేర్ ది డిక్లరేటివ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ దెన్ మెయిన్ సెక్షన్ సో ఇన్ ద మెయిన్ సెక్షన్ యూ కెన్ ఏబుల్ టు యూజ్ ది డిఎంఎల్స్ ఓకే యూజ్ ది డిఎంఎల్స్ దెన్ ఫుట్ ది ఎక్సెప్షన్ అండ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ దెన్ ఎండ్ సో ఎవ్రీథింగ్ విల్ సేమ్ సో యూ ఆర్ సీయింగ్ సమ్ అడిషనల్ థింగ్స్ ఇన్ ది ట్రిగర్ సో లైక్ ప్రొసీజర్ లో ఇలానే ఉంటుంది టోటల్ హెడర్ పార్ట్ లో యూ ఆర్ సేయింగ్ సమ్ అడిషనల్ థింగ్స్ ఆర్ సే బిఫోర్ ఆఫ్టర్ డిఎంఎల్ ఇన్సర్ట్ ఆర్ అప్డేట్ ఆర్ డిలీట్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ వీ ఆర్ సీయింగ్ సమ్ ఈవెంట్స్ అర్థమవుతుందా సో దిస్ ఈస్ ది సింటాక్స్ ఫర్ ది డిఎంఎల్ ట్రిగర్ ఓకే దెన్ ఓకే సో క్రియేట్ ఆర్ రీప్లేస్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ హియర్ క్రియేట్ ఆర్ రీప్లేస్ ట్రిగర్ ట్రిగర్ నేమ్ ఓకే సో create or replace an existing trigger with the trigger name so end r replace in the give chesam to if the trigger is already exists it drop and recreate that okay so before or insert id and specifies when the trigger will be executed okay before 
after any so what are the things i have explained i have noted down in this place so everything i have mentioned in this place half class this specifies the column name that will be updated so you know a column key chayal and it specifies the name of the table associated with the trigger a trigger then pain and you know for chayal and chip a table pain and chayal so referencing old as new and chip another this allows you to refer new and old values for various dml statements the modern so for each row it specifies the row level trigger row level trigger so that is the trigger will execute for every for each row being affected for each row anapudu okka row ke pok sari trigger anedi fire avutadi otherwise the trigger will execute just once when the sql statement is executed which called a table level trigger okay so row level trigger ki statement level trigger ki uh, for each row ane oka additional keyword tappaka everything will say i say statement level trigger so if you are updating like at 100 records row level trigger will fire 100 times but statement level trigger will fire only one time statement all the all the rows for table key okay sorry fire out so if you are updating like whole table also it will fire only one time at the moment so difference between the row level and the statement level <coughs> Okay, so which is called a table level trigger. Okay, when condition this provides a condition for the for rows for which triggers which trigger would fire. So this class is valid for only row level trigger. Okay, so in row level trigger lo, either na mere ka source lo nici value raale do. Need to check for that value. So it need to be generate some uh, customer ID. Nico source ninja Ravali. Like with a either a transaction number Ravali make a transaction number and a source ninja Rale. Okay, you cannot able to insert the data as null values into your transaction table. For that, you no need to miss the transactions. Maybe your table is having the not null constraint or primary key constraint. Null values ni restrict chest null. A put emo the you miss the transaction. So while inserting the data from file to the table, changes of file on the content ni table ki push this control. Push this in a Taravata, a content is the one go. A content the main table ki push this on go. One table in chi, you are inserting the data from main table to the backup, uh, backup table to the main table. And land table in chi, master table ki move this. Move this in a pro account number column ki, you may put some not null constraint or primary key constraint. But if the null value on that go, you are you are not able to insert the record into the table. In the constraint will fire. Constraint will fire. So constraint of fire and up to you will lose the data. So on the question, so you will lose that you will stop hold the records. Data insert just set up to you can data mismatch on the coda. You cannot able to insert the all the records. Objection that they love so try to create some EAP table as a backup. Okay, and create another table with uh, primary key and uh, not null constraints. Okay, and uh, in the backup table, do some null values for any one of the column. Employee number key, primary key, chess go, table, main table. Key. Push the data into some other table. Okay. EMP table EMP BKP lo, do some null values for any employees and push the data from insert into this table to that. It stop the program. So what I am going to explain here. See. We have collect star from EMP, right? We have this table. Create EMP underscore 
have created the EMP underscore PKP table. Now I'm truncating my EMP table. So I'm adding some constraint for my table. And to see the employee table, how you created by you. Okay, right click the tab uh, table name. Go for the open declaration. Okay, go to this SQL. Go to this SQL, you will see the how the table has been created by you. So if you are not able to see this place, maybe try try in your mission, you will definitely get that. So my system is having some slowness. So I have option to track that, uh, uh, to take the DDL statement from my computer. Okay, so DBMS underscore DDL is the package. Okay, so get underscore DDL is the function. Get underscore DDL is the function from dual okay, for this i need to provide a table name mp object name object type what is that object i need to provide here it's a table Now I'm getting the error because I need to provide the grant for that. I don't have, I'm not the administrator, right? So I need to take the privileges for that. Okay, grant. So then Kivali grant. So procedure key, functions key, packages key. You choose if you want, you want to provide the access of your procedures or functions to any other user. We need to use the execute privilege. We need to use the execute privilege. So your table pen guarantee value and you will use the insert, update, delete, select this type of things. Okay, here if you want to see that all when we enter table by now, accessible and all it just like all on DBMS underscore DDL to HR. It is allowing here. Okay, so if I like a selecting. See here only execute our debug privilege. It's work for only debug our execute privilege. Okay, so now I'm making as a execute. Okay, now see with DBMS underscore DDL dot get underscore DDL. Right, open declaration. I don't have this object. DBMS underscore DDL dot get underscore DDL. It's correct only. Okay, sorry, DBMS underscore metadata, not this, DBMS underscore metadata. Metadata dot get underscore DDL. Okay. 
So I need to take the. You know, I already having this access invalid input value of EMP parameter. So object type. So first I need to mention the object type. So it is uh, it is searching like a uh, taking the first value and uh, searching for the uh, value like in uh, object types. So it is not getting like a uh, EMP is not the object type. Okay, I for I swipe that uh, parameters actually. So due to that, the system getting confused. DVMS underscore metadata is the package, and the get underscore DDL is the get underscore DDL is the function. In the function and num the name function and yellow case is to nano. I haven't seen that, right? So I'm saying like a this is a package, this is the function. How can I jade that? This is the function. So what's the difference between a procedure and function? Hmm. If I am running anything in the select query, that we can call it as a function. So if it is the procedure, it won't execute. You cannot able to execute that in your select query. You can able to judge that, right? It is the function. This is a package. So inside the package, we can write procedures, functions, and other cursors and everything. See, now I have taken how you created the table here. So you created like see here while creating the table segment segment creation immediate while creating the table itself it creating some segment for you. OK, so here you need to understand other things like a table space. OK, table space. Table space and the, the system may have the lot of table spaces. OK, so if you are using like all the users is only one table space. Apudu, there is a chance to get some performance issues. OK, we create some dedicated uh, table space for each and every user, like uh, four users for every four users, one dedicated table space. User one, user two need to be work on user one uh, table space. Samadna. So user four and five, six, you need to work on this X, Y, Z table space. So table space is a workspace where you are storing that information. So if you are like five people are together is working and under OK, sir, data pushes. There is a chance to get slow the data performance. Performance will low than open. So to avoid that, we'll create some dedicated table space. So you make in the account master data was So insert that into separate table space. Transaction data was Transaction table space and the pocket maintains. Push the data into separate table space. I'm not storing all the data into one place. Now I'm separating the table space. So while creating the table, you can mention that directly in this place. So you no need to mention this all the things. It automatically create that. Okay, simply mention the table space in this way. Check like a user underscore table space. What are the table spaces you have? Okay, and choose one of the table space and create the table in this way. Okay, now I'm dropping my table. And I'm recreating the table again. Now I'm making as a not null constraint for this. 
okay now i am inserting the data from my backup table to main table insert into dbkp as select star from a okay so, no i need to do in the reverse way now we need to push the data with emp table into emp table from backup now see what happened okay okay i forget to update my data so in emp underscore bkp for every column is having the employee number okay now i am updating with the few records update with emp underscore emp number equal to null where row num equal to one where row num equal to one it null the first record okay so emp bkp is having the constraint i thought okay now I'm dropping my constraint. constraints what are the constraints we have we no need to go for like user underscore constraints okay so you will go directly right click that open describe open uh, declaration then you will choose the constraints here check constraint now i am dropping my constraints simply so while dropping the constraint you are dropping from the table okay you need to use the alter command to drop the constraint alter table emp drop constraint constraint name emp underscore bkp not like a emp now i drop my constraint okay now i am trying to push the data from bkp to main table right yes we haven't updated the employee number see now after deleting the not null constraint now you are updating the null value into your machine now my emp table is having the employee number as the not null constraint if you want to see that go to the one declaration and see in this place employee number is not null now my emp underscore bkp table is having the one of the employees having null okay, now i am trying to push the data from backup table to the main table 
cannot insert null into this place. Okay. Now I'm rollbacking it. I'm seeing like a personal table is having how many records. I will show like a how many records we have. Employee table does not have any record. Okay. Now I am trying to insert the data. We have a total 14 records. One of the record is having the problem. Remaining 30 records need to be inserted, right? It is not allowing here. Check in your EMB table. It is not performing that action. It is stopping all the records. Okay, it is stopping all the records. For this reason, make some trigger. Before inserting the data into this table, take the source value. If the source value when EMP number is null, when EMP number is null, okay. So AMO to the EMP number null and up you are inserting the value into the new table, new information. So take as a new data employee number equal to EMP ID dot sequence number. Call that or capture that and sequence number automatically call a new dot employee number look store out. Then insert the data new new dot employee number. So while inserting the data, take this new call fire and old call fire. New call fire loki employee ID ni assign check. Then it get inserted the records. So these type of situations it, like data prevention, the meaning it is validating the data. Where is that? Where is prevent invalid data or transactions, meaning so how we are doing that to validate. It is validating that and uh, stopping that. So if you want to without uh, doing the stop the program, so need to be continued. So apadinchali uh, employee number and edani will generate from our end and uh, push the data into our table. So if you want to stop, no need to uh, no, no worries in that. So if you want to continue that, We'll maintain the data prevention like a, we'll generate our own number and push the data into the table. So we'll see some example for the row level trigger. Okay, so I'm taking the tables here. Okay, so I am creating some EMP underscore log table. Okay, so see here I am creating the employee log table as employee number, employee name. I need to track the salary information. Salary information update just set up. If he is getting a hike, I need to see what is the previous salary, what is the current salary. So if you want to see that so you will see like a old salary or new salary i'm making two additional columns okay so here i'm mentioning like a cash null as number okay ikkada salary loki value ni nene pump icharle kani the cash function in the so if i want to make it as a empty column we want to make it as a empty column I will use like a null, correct? In some situations, I will use like a null. Empty I'm selecting this. See here, you won't get any issue for this. The data, EMP table does not have any data. Okay. Now, use the EMP underscore VKP.
I am not getting any issues. Diff shall null. If I am trying to create this uh, table, so for this select query, I am trying to create the table. What it is showing? Zero length columns are not allowed. Zero length columns are not allowed because you are mentioning like null for the diff underscore shall column. Null is a blank value. There is no space for that. It is. It won't take any space. Space this contains. I can able to make it as a column. So for that reason, I am mentioning like I don't have any cached, but make it as my cached as a number data type. Okay. So number data type. If you haven't mentioned the size by default, it will take like a eight. If you mention the size, it will take that respective size. Okay, see here now. Now the table get created. Now the table get created with all the columns. Now I don't need any data in my table. Or you can put the data also. You can put the data also. So you can see like whatever the updated information is going to insert or update. So else I'm not pushing any data here. One equal to two. Okay, now the table is created. Okay, now. Now oh, see select star from EMP lab. No data in this. Now I am uh, inserting the data. Seven three six nine. I'm updating that back with the. Uh, Original data, I'm inserting the data from backup to the EMP table. Okay. So now I have my EMP table is having the data now. Okay. So now I'm creating the table. Sorry, I'm creating the. So drop a table trigger. Okay. So ENT the trigger NSL fire with me in track chess code. So I'm insert trigger. Update trigger, role level trigger, role statement level trigger. So if you want to track that, I'm using with the, this tables. Okay. So I'm creating the sequence. So trigger any sal fire out and fire in a pratisari. I'm taking the count and storing into table. Okay. Create sequence trigger. Okay. We don't have any data in this. This is I created these tables to track the salary information about the employee. Okay, then. I'm selecting the data. We don't have any data into the EMP log table and to track how many times the trigger is firing to track that I'm mentioning like another table. Trigger fire values. NSR fire with many capture chayali and JP loving channel then. Then see. Our sequence number automatically generate out and also I'm mentioning the sequence number. Okay, so then we'll take the another uh, slide. Okay, so I'm creating the trigger. I'm creating the trigger. Create or replace trigger trigger name. Okay, create or replace trigger trigger name. So as I said, like we can able to mention before action or after action. Okay, now I'm mentioning like a before delete or insert or update. I'm capturing all the things at a time, or it can capture all the things before insert, update, delete. OK, I'm mentioning like a for each row. For each row, OK, now I'm declaring the variables in the declarative section. Sal difference. OK, so I need to perform old salary and a new salary. OK, I need to take the minus of these two and capture that uh, value in the salary difference column and I need to store that into. Value. So now. I'm I'm capturing that here. 
Okay, I am capturing the salary difference here. Ela capture chesa na As I said, like we can capture the new value, new updated values into new table. So new table le chesa the ita capture the whatever the updating information, whatever the you are providing that inserting or updating new values. New era the system le push it and choose na wo. It capture all that values and store that into new table. New table. Okay, whatever the old values we have, existing values that capture and store into the old table. These two are the virtual tables. While firing the trigger, trigger automatically create these two tables backend virtual tables. Or you can call it as a qualifiers, trigger qualifiers or virtual tables. So people will call it as a different ways. Okay, so now I am inserting the data into insert into EMP log my table name. It's a log table. Okay, so first column like an employee number, employee name, old salary, new salary, diff salary, history, rec time stamp. If we not column list, not table loan, not column list. So in HS and no employee number information ni insert a setup. So, AMM capture chest on any kind of NVL of new dot employee number, comma old dot employee number. If my table is having the primary key or in not null constraint, so enter the old employee. I know if I take like a Nina just an insert to update, delete, and okay, sir, perform chest. So now I need to use like a either one of the this. New dot employee number and another. New dot employee number and a. M. Jarthadi. New dot employee number and a. Insert Jarget a. New dot employee number and a. I can capture that. If I am deleting the data, I don't have any new employee in, new employee ID information here. Delete operation perform chase set up. Trigger old table. Look at me. You chase kunta. New table information. A. Mundal. Now I will get the error. Need to delete operation ni capture chain. So for that reason, if I haven't seen the new employee information, take the old employee ID information. So to avoid like my usage better, instead of maintaining like three triggers, now I am maintaining all the triggers in one trigger. Okay, so you could NVL function no delete operation perform chase set up. Manaki new information, new employee information under the cover I need to take as a old information. I have mentioned this. Okay, so if you want to see that, you can remove this uh, NVL function under C, then we'll go with the uh, again. Okay, so if you just an new employee number, new table again, it is under the show chairman to employee name, old name. Okay. Old salary, new salary, new salary, and the mirror update chase it up. Okay, then diff sal, diff sal can just an anu. I already doing the minus in this place, and I am passing this variable in this place. The variable like already I have captured that value in the starting of the position, and I am storing into diff underscore sal column. Test rec timestamp, or record to our DML, a put jargon. Time in to store that I am using the sys underscore timestamp. Okay, now I am creating the trigger. Okay, now now I am trying to insert the data into my table. EMP underscore BK pin in I am pushing the data into my table. Okay, 15 records I have inserted. Now see my employee table, uh, employee log table. 